out and about a little bit trying to decide if I want to go get some or go look at some trees today since I didn't get to do it yesterday y'all this blogging and shopping and trying to pay for stuff and all that good stuff all at the same time without dropping your purse and your wallet and looking crazy <laughs> is not easy okay take my hat off to y'all bloggers that do this stuff every day all day okay but I said I was possibly going to Target to look at trees or Home Depot to look at trees, but honey, everybody in their mom is on the street tonight. Like, ciao. Everybody is just out spending money. So I think since it's Sunday, your girl is gonna wait until <laughs> tomorrow or possibly Tuesday. Um. Oh, they got electric car charging stations over here. I didn't know that. I have to tell hubby because, you know, it's good to know where all the charging stations are for his car. But anyway, um, yeah, so shout out everybody and their mama's on the street tonight. And I don't like a whole bunch of people around me when I'm shopping. You know, it's just, it's not that serious because, you know, I can go like any day, any time whenever so i'd rather just go when it's a little less hectic maybe i'll go early in the morning yeah maybe in the morning i can get up have my little pineapple and cucumber drink and then we can go to target and home depot or something and look for our lows 
and look for a Christmas tree. I also want to see if Home Depot has, I know they have them online. I need a mantle for my fireplace. Now that it's all painted white, I need to find a mantle to have put on. And I know Home Depot has them online, but I wanna see if they have any in store that I can just grab. But I, I do need to measure my fireplace to see how wide it is. So anyway, yeah, I'll be doing that first thing in the morning. Hopefully all these people will be at work or sleep or too tired from shopping this weekend, okay? So yeah, but they have some cute little stuff in Walgreens. It's so rare now when I actually go in the store and like shop for stuff that it's it I feel like out of my element. I'm sitting there trying to pay, sticking my card in the wrong way, looking crazy. I mean, to my defense, though, it was like a new type of card reader that they had going on. But I'm like, okay, sticking it in, it's not working. Sticking it in, it's not working. It's like, oh, you got to put it in upside down. Like, who developed that? But anyway, I just feel like a fish out of water sometimes when I'm actually in the store shopping for things and physically touching things because it's so rare for me to do that now being an online shopper so yeah anyway that's all i'm doing just out here in these streets but i'm about to take my little behind home and you know find me something good to watch i think because it's just one of those like chilly chill days today it has been that way all day y'all let me tell you remember when i said i was gonna set up an appointment for my husband to get his feet done child if he could marry me all over again, I know he would after that foot massage and pedicure. Honey, he loved it. He loved it. And I'm so glad he did. You know, he deserves it. He deserves to be pampered and taken care of and, you know, to get his feet rubbed and scrubbed and stuff just like I do. So, yes, child. I know he could propose all over again. He showed enough wood. He was so happy. He loved it. He was like, when you uh set something up for somebody ain't you supposed to pay for it i died laughing i was like you know what i would have paid for it i just wasn't even thinking about it i was so um focused on making sure that i got an appointment for him on a day and time that he was free that i didn't even think about prepaying for it i mean you know <laughs> but he was like ain't you supposed to pay for it had me cracking up i was like yes you know i would have paid for it he's like i know you would have paid for it but that was hilarious to me so yeah he loved it just wanted to let y'all know that okay got his little feet scrubbed today so anyway today has been a real chilly chill day you know came home he ate something and watched some football and was knocked out so um i think i'm just going to you know find me something good to watch I have some boxes that I really want to open. I said I was going to organize my whole kitchen today. Because does anybody else have like a kitchen cabinet that has Tupperware that's just like falling all over the place when you open it? I'm so shame. So shame. My Tupperware cabinet is a hot mess. So I need to organize my Tupperware cabinet. And I need to... Um, go through my pots, you know, kind of clear out pots that I don't use that's old and tow up because I bought that new pot set that's been sitting in a box for like a month now that I need to take out. And what else do I need to do? Oh, that new little ninja oven that hubby bought me. I need to open that up and see what's happening and figure out where I'm going to put that on my counter. I really don't like a lot of stuff on my counter, but since it's typically just me at the house for most of the time you know like if I have something small I want to heat up or whatever I don't be wanting to use the microwave and stuff all the time and you don't want to turn on the big old ovens just for one little thing I want something that I can use to heat up my food and keep it crispy you know toasted and stuff so anyways I'm gonna check that out I'll open it with you guys so you can see it too um how it works and what it does but it's really cool my actual new stove is coming on being delivered on friday so i'm excited about that so anyways yeah oh they got the little christmas lights out yeah. 
I gotta get it together. This week, I'm going to have my Christmas decorations up. Period. Period. That is my goal for this week. I'm going to have my Christmas decorations up. At least the inside. The outside, you know, but my goal is to try and get something done on the outside too. So, anyway. Yeah, that's it. So, I'm almost home, you guys. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat this evening. I know, I'm, listen. I'm supposed to be drinking that drink. I don't know. Do y'all... I am a foodie, okay? <laughs> I love to eat it's too much to be, you know, trying to drink in the morning and drink at night. It's like, and I know myself, unless I'm like 100% serious and just dead set on, you know, starting a weight loss program, which I am not right now, um, I'm not going to be successful at it. You know, I do little things here and there and yada, 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 but unless I set my mind to it, man, I ain't going to be successful. So I don't even do that to myself no more. I don't beat myself up, none of that. I'm thick. It is what it is. I'll lose the weight when I get ready to. So, but I do be trying. I be trying stuff. So, um, but you know, if I would say that if you are looking for something like that and you do have a lot of discipline or whatever, try it because it's not bad. It's really, really not bad at all. And I think it probably would be great for weight loss if you had that to replace two of your meals for sure for sure okay it's so funny after i had that y'all saw me i was hungry as a wildebeest after i drank that for breakfast i told that seafood up yesterday and it was oh so good but <laughs> yes yeah, so i'm like i don't know you know for me i don't know if that's gonna work out i need something with a little bit more substance in it so anywho i'm just over here i'm looking at these little christmas like that everybody putting up man so, yeah, y'all. I'll get with y'all later. Whoa, oh, oh. La, da, 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 oh, oh. La, da, 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 oh, oh. La, da, da, da. Making our Christmas memories. Y'all, Walgreens just has me so irritated right now. I was ordering, you know, the photo books from me and my girls girls trip in florida the inconsistency is just ridiculous look at this one they printed it with a nice beautiful pretty shiny cover and then this one back here it's all dull and the corner is all bent i am i'm irritated right now but this one looks really nice really pretty so yeah it has a little 2021 girls trip on the back or on the side i guess but this one is nice this i mean i'm just irritated but i got i grabbed this little totes toasties it's a tumbler and a sock set i bought it for myself though <laughs> i know it's supposed to be a little gift set but i thought this was too cute i like that tumbler the socks too i wear crazy looking socks all the time around the house and then I grabbed these socks as well. You guys probably already saw, but I thought these were so cute. I love just wearing socks around the house. I do not walk around barefoot. So I got these. I think these were like six bucks. This was $14.99, I believe. When I was at um, Best Buy, I picked up this Energizer Max Power Bank. It's like, you know, uh, external portable power bank you know for your phone or for whatever you know that takes usb and stuff um now that i am doing more vlogging and stuff like that and just kind of ripping and running i need to have something like this i could just throw in my purse so i can keep my phone charged or whatnot so i got this i think this was like 69 bucks at best buy so very happy to have that it has a little weight to it though it's not super duper light it does have a little weight but I need this, like, for real, for real. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I am just, I'm irritated right now. The inconsistency is just appalling. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have a few packages here that I want to open. Some stuff that I ordered. Maybe Black Friday, maybe not. Because <laughs> your girl just, I be buying stuff and I don't even remember what day it was. So, this is from DJ's Unique Boutique. And so, yeah, I'm going to open this up and put these beautiful items to use. I 
got me some shades. Look how cute these shades are, you guys. Let me show you. This is what these shades look like. They're so cute. Look at that. Cute, cute. Thick frame. Super cute. You will see me in these, I'm sure. Super cute. Um, but she just launched some nail polishes. So let me show you her nail polishes. They're all in these little protective sleeves here. So I'm taking them all out. But she came out with four beautiful nail polish shades. And while I don't really polish my nails different colors, I do do my toenails different colors. So I will definitely be using these on my toes at some point. Um, but these are the beautiful shades that she came out with. And you know, she makes a lot of her own stuff. I know she made these polishes. Um, but yeah, these are really, really gorgeous. Now, this vanity makeup, y'all, this expensive palette. Shoot, let me open this mug up. I ordered three things. I do not remember ordering three things. I must have ordered some kind of little set or something, child. I think, yeah, that's what it was. I wanted to order just the palette, but they had the palette sold out on the site. But you could buy some kind of little like combination set and I don't remember what it was. So, so what is this? Let me get some glasses, okay. <sighs> okay, this is the Sculpt and Glow Palette Dark Trio. So this is what it looks like. Their packaging is really clean and sleek and basic, but nice, you know, quality packaging. Shoot, for the prices, it better be. Okay, so it's cream. So this is what it looks like. As you know, the bronzer, the, um, you know, the concealing type cream, and then a cream highlighter looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. See if you can get into that. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. It definitely has the shape of a brush. Oh, it's a brush set, okay. A couple brushes in here. So that's what it looks like in the packaging, nicely packaged. And this is what the brush looks like. So it's two-sided. It says blender and applicator. So this is what this brush looks like. Blender and applicator. So that's cool. Definitely I could use this like for concealer, um, maybe even for like nose contour or something as well. This one I would use for, you know, like contour, bronzer, stuff like that. Or I could even use it if I wanted to just tap a little bit of highlight on my cheekbone, cheekbones. So various use brush, I like that. I don't like double-sided brushes though, because I like to stand my brushes up in my brush holder and you can't do that with these without destroying one of the brushes. So I don't like double-sided brushes, but it is what it is. Okay, and so this is the other brush duo. So it just looks like a couple of um, light, you know, eye brushes. This one, what does it say? Blender, yeah. So blending brush here, you can see that. Looks nice. And then this one says applicator. So just a flat, small flat brush, if you can see that. Very, very thin though. I like that, very thin nice and flat i'm sorry if my hands is ashy y'all shoot <laughs> sometimes i forget to put on lotion before i turn on the camera okay and i have to be super duper ashy for me to refilm a whole unboxing okay so this is the actual palette Okay, so nice box. This is the box that it comes in. Nice and clean, sleek. It's like this like 
soft dusty pink shade with the gold on there kind of like a rose gold I guess you would call it it is nice and heavy you know I've heard this compared to like Pat McGrath and whatnot so um this is what she looks like look how gorgeous really really pretty shiny packaging you can see the light bouncing off of there but yeah it is nice and beautiful and shiny nice and thick with the gold trim you can see there so let's go ahead and open this baby up oh and it does have is that a sticker yeah so on the back what is this called the signature palette it's uh, up top engraved that's actually engraved up there and then this is a very very faint sticker it actually almost looks like it's printed on there but that is a clear sticker so that's what that looks like and okay so the mirror is covered which is nice i don't have to worry about blinding you guys so this is what this palette looks like y'all you see she gorgeous when i first saw her i was just like oh that's like a baby um tati palette you know it really really reminds me of the tati um volume one but now it's <laughs> volume final <laughs> since tati beauty is no more but anyways isn't it pretty it's so pretty like if i was just gonna have like a neutral palette this this will be it that's why i love the tati palette so much this mug is gorgeous so anyway get into it get into it she's really pretty and this palette i think it was like it was very expensive y'all was it like 95 bucks or something like that yeah it was close to 100 bucks i did get it uh during the black friday sales or whatever this whole little combination set with the brushes the face palette and the palette don't remember how much i paid for it if i you know can find the information i'll put it on the screen um but yeah i don't remember okay so this is from lunar beauty i did take advantage of um the sales that lunar beauty was having and so let's see what your girl bought okay lunar beauty with the packaging all right oh this is cute okay so this is inside gorgeous oh okay come through with the uh nice little prints okay hello beautiful beautiful okay so and it has you know little ads in here for his stuff da -da -da -da. it always trips me out when they send me the cards for the products that i already purchased but anyway because I think those are the two palettes that I bought. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, it looks like I actually got, yeah, it looks like I got three palettes, maybe. I don't remember. So let's take a look. Let's take a look-see. Yeah, I got three here. Oh, one is the blush palette. So yeah, I remember I wanted to get this um, Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. And I'm so glad I waited because this mug was sold out forever. I waited. I was like, nah, I'm not sure. Probably ain't gonna work for me. Yada, yada, yada. I'm not paying that much for no blush palette. Honey, you're in the sales. I got this mug for a steal. So I'm so glad I waited. But this is what it looks like. If you can see there, it's the little planets are raised. So they're like little bubbles or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And this is what the palette looks like. I mean, honestly, just looking at it, it's not really much to write home about. It's similar to the um, Jaclyn Hill one that I just got. But this one, it just seems more kind of subdued, more kind of like neutrally. Hers is more packed with color, which I absolutely love. I used that mug the other day and I love it to death all that color but this is something that i feel like would look nice on my cheeks when i just want a very subtle flush of color but in these same tones i love 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 these tones for blush so this is the facelift 
palette. Oh, I see. Because I knew it had um, more shades in it. But I'm like, how are they fitting so many shades? And it looks like it's about the same size of palette. But this, um, these shades actually look smaller. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, that these shadows are smaller than the ones in the original palette. But now to me, the reason why I bought this, let me tell you, this is the perfect travel palette for me. I mean, perfect. It has all my color that I need. It has all my neutrals that I need. Cute shimmers. If I want to bring along some more colorful shimmers as well, I'll just grab my It's Bell palette um, or maybe my, what is it, Platinum Hits palette that has, you know, all the multi-chromes and dual chromes and grab that and bring it along with this. Perfect for travel, honey. There's not a color that's it, not in here that I would want to put on my eyes. I can mix, match, rainbow, neutral, warm, cool, everything from this palette. So this is perfect for travel. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it while it was on sale. Like I said, I don't really care for the cover. I don't like any packaging that has a face on it. You know, it's not just him. I don't like packaging that has faces on it. But, you know, I know that's what people like to do sometimes. So it is what it is. But, yeah, I specifically bought that palette to travel with. So now I just have to remember <laughs> that I have it so that I can take it when I travel. And then lastly, I got this Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Volume 2. Look at this color story. She is so pretty. And hopefully, if I'm angling this right, you can see the beautiful shimmers, the purples. There's a black in here. I just, I really do. I really, really love this color story. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed this while it was on sale. Super pretty. I have one more box and I think that's my Delium brushes. So let me go ahead and grab that. So I bought this one, which is the um, Golden Triangle Complete Brush Set Phase 2. And I got the Phase 3. So same thing. Golden Triangle Complete Brush Set Phase 3. I don't know, it was something about this combination of brushes that appealed to me. So that is what I got. So let's open her up. Let's open up Phase 2 first. I don't know why I didn't buy Phase 1. It must have been something about it that I didn't really care for. So yeah, I, don't, I didn't buy Phase 1. And so let's look at Phase 2 first. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to put them all together. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. This is what the pouch looks like. Um, it's not open here. That's just a design feature. Has a nice little rose gold zipper and a placard that says Delium Tools on it. Really, really nice. I like that. Okay, so when you open it up and it has a little pocket here. Oh, that, I see. So it just, look at that. Look at that. It just kind of like sits open, I guess, for easy use. And it has this little front pocket here. Okay, so these are the larger brushes. I'm not going to go through each one because that will take me forever. But this, these are the larger brushes from this set. If you can kind of see through what they look like. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to try these out. And then these are all of the smaller brushes. Looks like a nice array of eye brushes, you know, maybe concealer brush, highlighter brush, things like that in here. So... Yeah, it looks like a really, really nice little set here. Now, I do want to open it up just to show you, like, close up. Take this big one here. Oh, it feels nice and soft. What the actual handle and stuff looks like. So, this is what the handle looks like. It has, like, that triangle shape to it. It has their name on it. Delium Tools. And then this one says what? Yeah, golden triangle. 
974 tapered powder. So that is what she looks like. Has a pretty rose gold handle. And it feels, oh, oh, that feels really nice. <laughs> feels very nice. So yeah, that's what those look like. So that is that set there, which is the two. Ooh, okay. So yeah, it has some, you know, I know I got them because I wanted a variety of the different shapes of the larger brushes to use. So I can definitely see the difference in the shapes of the brushes in here. And I like that a lot. Very, very nice. And then here, as you can see, more eye brushes, but it also includes a fan brush as well. So I have plenty of different eye brushes, detail brushes in here, and the fan, fan brush. You can see that in there. Honestly, I feel like that that's a great deal for all of these brushes that I got for both sets, both you know travel bags, I think. And I really like those too. Those will be nice for travel. So I think I got a great deal. So anyway, that's it. Those are all the packages I wanted to open with you guys. This is ridiculous yes I know it's it's a hot mess so let's go ahead and get this organized I, I. I'm too cool for the rules baby get off of me never need no push I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look, Papa don't preach, teachers don't teach, gon' reach, that's facts. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quota on me like a referee. Paying what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom. Yeah, shot is shaped like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Okay, you guys, this is as good as it gets for now. At least I'm able to find <laughs> Tupperware with tops to use. I mean, this cabinet is a little bit, you know, inconvenient because it's a lower cabinet, but it has enough space for my Tupperware. In the back, you'll see I have my smaller Tupperwares in some baggies because have you ever knocked over a bunch of small Tupperware? It's annoying. So I just keep those in baggies. They're easy to get to. But I have a bunch of extra tops here because I don't know where the Tupperware is and I don't want to throw them away yet until I go through my <laughs> refrigerator and my other cabinets. But anyways, I feel good because at least now it's somewhat organized to where I can at least grab some Tupperware to use. So that is it, you guys. For my Tupperware, let's move on. Okay, you guys, so this is the Ninja Foodie Digital Air Fry Oven. It says Digital Crisp Control for Precision Cooking. So this is what it looks like. I don't typically use stuff like this, but I've been wanting something like this because 
you know, it's just supposed to do, <laughs> can I speak English today? It's supposed to do a lot of different, you know, types of quick, easy cooking. So I wanted to grab one of these to use for, you know, little small things that I like to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust this open and we'll see what it do. Aye, aye. Look. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look, Papa don't preach, teachers don't teach, gon' reach, that's facts. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quota on me like a referee. Paying what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom, yeah, shorty shape like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Crazy, cause you really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain, new thing, lame. Whipper, you a broke. Low class, no cash, certified lame. I'm getting to it like I ought to. Couldn't pick, so I bought two. Understand why your chick came. I'm just trying to figure why she brought you. Okay, you guys, so at least I got it out of the box so I can see what's happening with it. It looks pretty cute, and it's not like super duper huge or anything. Um, I put all of the, you know, little trays and racks and stuff inside just for storage. I'm not cooking anything right now, so I'm not gonna wash it um until i'm ready to use it but got this handy little you know instruction booklet and warranty and all that stuff i'm sure so now i just have to find somewhere to put it on my counter so let's see where i'm gonna put this thing but for now i'm just gonna stick her right here next to my bread box um, it does have a feature, supposedly, where you can lift it up so it stands up and it doesn't take up so much of your counter. So I just need to read the instructions and figure out how that works because it does have like this little, um, you know, like hinge thing back here to lift it up. So it's probably just a lever or something that I have to push, but... I don't feel like figuring that out right this second. So, just wanted to open it up, let you guys see what it looks like, and figure out where I was going to stick it. So, it's going to stay here for right now. If I figure out how to lift it up, I'll go ahead and add that clip in this vlog. Y'all, I'm just taking a quick look at this little manual that came with it. And it looks, there's so many different things I can do with this thing air fry, air roast, air broil, bake. I'm like actually super excited. And it looks pretty simple um, as far as like how to use this thing. So yeah, I can toast, bagel, warm stuff up. I got a couple of Kickstarter recipes in here. So it is pretty, pretty cool. Um, now, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out how to do the flip feature. But as you can see right here, it says reclaim your counter space, flip up to store and to clean. So I'm sure it'll tell me how somewhere in here, but just wanted to kind of show you guys, um, you know, a little bit more about this little air fry oven. So I'm excited to use it. I'll be cooking some stuff with you guys. So you'll see how it turns out. <laughs> okay. So looks like I was making it more complicated than it actually is. It looks like I'm just supposed to take it and just flip it up like so, so that, you know, it's just up and out of the way. So that's pretty cool. You know, I like that a lot. So I get my counter space back and, you know, I can pull it down when I want to use it. So very, very cool very easy um it has where you can like clean it 
you know, take this tray out and clean it and all that good stuff. So I like it. I'm excited. I want to make something in it.
Y'all, I have not been able to find a Christmas tree that I like. They are all like sold out the size and style that I want. So I done resorted to looking on Amazon, honey, and trying to get me a prime next day delivery tree. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna find me a tree um that I like and just see if I can get to get it delivered within the next day or so make my life a little bit easier honey because I ain't got the time I also need to order me a mantle so yeah I'm going to just order some stuff honey like I do everything else is order me a tree, order me a mantle. When it comes, then we'll go ahead and decorate together, y'all. So that's what I'm doing today. Today is my girl DJ's birthday. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday, DJizzle. <laughs> yeah, so later on, we are going to um, sit and Skype and just get our little party on you know, with a little video party because child, she live all the way on the other side of the country. So yeah, I'm so glad we were able to have our girls trip because ah, I have some memories to think about, but yeah, we're gonna do a little video party tonight. So that's what I'm doing today, y'all. Trying to find me a tree. The saga continues. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. 